This is going to be the first of our videos looking at trigonometry. Now, trigonometry is just a study of the relationship between the sizes of a triangle's angles and the lengths of its sides. Okay. Now, all we're going to do in this video is look at right angle triangles and all we're going to do is look at how to find an unknown side. Now, on your formula sheet in National 4, you will be told what that relationship is. Okay, you'll be told what tan x is, what sine x is, and what cos x is. And all of this we sum up using the acronym SOCATOR. Okay, where SO just means that sine of the angle is opposite over hypotenuse, CA just means that cos of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse, and TOA just means tan of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. Now, in questions like we're going to look at today, where you're asked to find uh, a missing side, you'll always be given an angle and one of the sides, and the question will ask you to find another side. Okay, so you're always given two bits of information, and you'll be looking for a third piece of information. Okay, something that's uh, unknown. Uh, to do with a triangle. So, you cannot get very far unless you know how to name the sides, okay? So if we look at naming the sides first of all, then we can proceed to look at some examples, okay? Now, in trigonometry questions, we always name the sides in relation to the angle, okay? You might be given that angle, or you may be looking for the angle, okay? But you always name the sides in relation to the angle. Now, Across from the angle is always the opposite. Across from the right angle is always the hypotenuse. Okay, the hypotenuse is always the longest side, and it's always across from the right angle. And last but not least is the adjacent. The adjacent just meaning alongside the angle. And that's the order in which I name the sides, and that's the easiest way to do it. Across from the angle is your opposite. Across from the right angle is your hypotenuse. And last but not least, you're adjacent. Okay? So, pause the video, name these, uh, the sides for the last two triangles there yourselves, see how you get on. Okay? So, across from Y is your opposite, across from the right angle is your hypotenuse, and last but not least, you're adjacent. And lastly, across from the angle is the opposite, across from the right angle is your hypotenuse, and last but not least is your adjacent. Now if you get things wrong at this stage, you're going to end up making a mess of the question. Okay, so make sure that you're careful in naming the sides and make sure you do it properly. Okay, always name the sides in relation to the angle you're either given or are looking for. Okay, now we have three examples here, we're just going to talk you through how to do these so we're going to find x in each question, and we'll see how we get on uh, with each of these, okay? So we'll just move these around just to give us a wee bit more room. So we'll look at um, question A first of all, okay? Now the first thing you do is name the sides. So across from the angle, 25, is going to be our opposite. Across from the right angle is our hypotenuse. Last but not least, our adjacent. Okay, the next thing you do is you write so ka toa. Okay, and it's at this point that you determine which of these you're going to use, whether it's so ka or toa. Okay, now how do we decide which one to use? Well, we ask ourselves the question what am I given? I'm given the adjacent. We see that there. So we take off A for adjacent. What am I looking for? Because I'm given nothing else. I'm looking for the opposite. So I take off the opposite. Two ticks on TOA. We underline TOA. So that's what we're going to use. Now looking at your formula sheet again, it explains that that's tan of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. Now my angle here is 25. So it's tan 25 equals opposite over adjacent. My opposite is x. My adjacent is 20. Now, what I like to do uh, at this point is say, well, anything divided by 1 is just itself. So I haven't changed anything there. 
And now that I have, if you like, a fraction equal to a fraction, I can do cross multiplication. Okay? So, from this point, x times 1 is just x, and that's going to be equal to 20 times tan 25. Now, be careful that you don't type into your calculator tan 25 times 20, because if you do, the calculator might misinterpret what you're wanting it to do. So 20 times tan 25, and as we do that, we get an answer of 9.3, and because this side is in centimetres, we must have centimetres as our units. Okay? So, let's have a look at another couple of examples. All right? So let's stack these up, give ourselves a bit of room, I'll shift that down a wee bit. I'll shift this down as well. Okay, so question B. Again, name the sides. Across from the angle is going to be the opposite. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. And last but not least, your adjacent. You write Sokatoa. Then take off anything you are given or anything you're looking for. I'm given the hypotenuse, so we take off the H's. I'm looking for the opposite, so I take off the O's. This time, two ticks there, so we're using so. Now the formula sheet tells you that that just stands for sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Our angle this time is 72, you can see that there. Opposite is x, the hypotenuse is 30. Dividing this by 1 won't change anything. Now I've got a fraction equal to a fraction. Cross multiplication, x times 1 is just x. That's going to be equal to 30 times sine 72. I work that out and I get to one decimal place an answer of 28.5. Okay. 28.5. And my units would be meters. Now it's always good once you get your answer just to check and see that what you've got makes sense. That it's all in proportion with the other dimensions that you're given. Okay? Which it is. Okay? Now finally, if we do this question here, question C. Again, name the sides. So across from my angle is going to be my opposite. Across from the right angle is going to be the hypotenuse. And last but not least is my adjacent. I write Sokatoa. Okay. Take off anything you're given or anything you are looking for. I am given my hypotenuse. So I take off the H's. I am looking for the adjacent. So I take off the A's. Two ticks on Ka. So that's what I'm going to use. Ka stands for cos of the angle. The angle is 28. And that's equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So x is my adjacent. My hypotenuse is 47. Cos 28 is the same as cos 28 over 1. Use cross multiplication. x times 1 is just x. That's going to be equal to 47 times cos 28. Work that out to one decimal place. And we get an answer of 41. 0.5. And your units this time are millimeters. And that's how you tackle questions like this, where you've got a right angle triangle, you're given one side, you're given an angle, and you're asked to find another side. Okay? Now, I would like you to see if you can tackle these questions yourself. So, again, you're given an angle, you're given a side, and you're asked to find another side. So pause the video here, see how you get on, and then check back to see if your answers match up with what I've got. Okay? Okay, so let's do the first one. Now, name the sides. Across here is the opposite, opposite the angle. Across from the right angle is the longest side, the hypotenuse. And the third side is the adjacent. The right so katoa. Take off anything we are given, that's a hypotenuse. Take off anything we're looking for, we're looking for x, so the adjacent, 
the A gets ticked off, two ticks on CA, that's what we're going to use. CA stands for cos of the angle, which in this case is 40, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, x over 25. Cos 40 is the same as cos 40 over 1. Doing cross multiplication, the products will be equal to one another, and that gives us that x must be 25 times cos 40, which is 19.2. And your units are meters. Okay, and that looks reasonable and in proportion to what we would be looking for. Okay. Question B, across from the angle. Question B, across from the angle is your opposite. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. And over here, last but not least, is the adjacent. We write so far to a take off anything we are given or anything we're looking for. We're given the hypotenuse, so we take off the H. We're looking for the opposite, so we take off the O's. Two ticks on so, so that's what we're going to use. So stands for sine of the angle, sine of 75 equals opposite over hypotenuse, so it's going to be x over 52. Sine 75 is the same as sine 75 over 1, and then we can do it Cross multiplication, x times 1 is x, and that's going to be equal to 52 times sine 75. Working that out to one decimal place, we get an answer of 50.2, and your units are centimeters. Okay. And finally, for the last one, name the sides. Across from the angle is your opposite. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, and last but not least, your adjacent. We write so katoa. And then start ticking off anything we're given. We're given the adjacent. We know it's 11, so we take off the adjacent. We are looking for the opposite, so we take off the O's. Two ticks on toa. Toa stands for tan of the angle. Remember, just consult the formula sheet. And you'll see all of this. So tan of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. X is the opposite. The adjacent is 11. Tan 21 is the same as tan 21 over 1. Cross multiplication. X times 1 is X. And that's going to be equal to 11 times tan 21. And you work all of that out to one decimal place. Your answer is 4.2. And your units are, in this case, millimeters. Okay, so that's how you deal with right angle triangles when you're given one side, one angle, and you're looking for another of the sides. Okay, consult your formula sheet, follow these steps, and you should get through these questions, no bother. Okay.